Whew. Wow. Hey, you guys. Killing 86 a.k.a. Ram. Welcome to another... Uh, another. Actually, may, may, or should I rephrase this? Hey, you guys. This is Killing 86 a.k.a. Raymond. Welcome to the last reaction video of McJugger Nuggets. Well, guys, my last video on YouTube... Well, guys, this is Jesse's final video on YouTube, and this is the one we're actually dreading the most. After seeing that great retrospective of what happened over the year of 2019, and also my first also my first reaction video and last reaction video of Midjourney Nuggets is here, and it's crazy how all this is coming to an end. But I can assure you guys that I'll continue doing my reaction videos, although, hey, I, I've heard that he... He might be doing a series on Storyfire, but although he's not inspired yet, but I have a feeling that when that day comes, you guys will be the one to hear it. But like I said before, guys, if I ever get certified to do Storyfire videos, I will be doing Storyfire videos on, all the time, and I won't be uploading anything on YouTube for a while. So either way, whatever happens, hey, I'm still, I'll still be here. Although, when he does a series, I will talk about that. And I like to always talk about my predictions of what's going to happen next. But, hey. Hey, I'm prolonging this because, man, this is my last reaction video on the Jungle Nuggets here on YouTube. And, first off, I want to say thanks, Jesse, for giving me the confidence to continue YouTube back in 2014. Like I said, guys, I almost gave up doing this. I... As I kept doing this, I was asking myself, man, I, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere with this. And... I feel like I should stop. After when I saw that psycho video and seeing how he's trying everything in his power to do this, do his dream, be have his dream come true, I said to myself, man, if he's like that, then I can be like that. Despite that this is a character we're, we're talking about here. But, <laughs> but without further ado, guys, let's take a look at my last video on YouTube. Juggies, this is the last video. I'll ever make on YouTube.
so much to the streamies. Me putting out my virtual escape, every single episode got demonetized. It, it kills me to see YouTube where it's at. We've been building a fire. It's called Story Fire, and we're about the creator, and um, you won't have to suffer anymore to the Monopoly. Thank you, guys. Couldn't have asked for a better montage. Shout out to Nick Regenis for editing that. Uh, I think he captured the decade-long uh, MJN universe very well. And um, even to see me starting on Halo videos, the whole run of series and everything. I mean, he had 2,000 videos to cut down and try and make something something bittersweet. Uh, I, I hope everyone has just a very weird feeling after watching that. I, I know I do. And. There's so much I want to unpack in this video, and there's so much that I need to... to I, I can't even speak. I, 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 during, I was doing the interviews with my family, and I literally left the camera there that I needed to shoot this on. My brain's just been all over the place today. Um, I didn't... When I did that sit-down video months ago now, saying I was going to quit, I, I guess I can't believe how fast this time has gone to now where this is the last video. And it doesn't feel real. It really doesn't. I mean, just generally, I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm going to be on Storyfire. A lot of the content's going to be similar, the same stuff, the same people you know and love. And for me and everybody else, it's going to feel exactly the same. However, this video is for the people that are too stubborn to come over. I'll never see you again. And it's also the end of an era on YouTube, the platform that has given me so much and my family. I still, to this day, cannot process and cannot thank you enough YouTube like you've genuinely changed my life and everybody around me's life and the door just magically opened what the fuck <laughs> that was the ghost of myself being like dude <laughs> stay <laughs> for those who didn't watch my sit down video talking about me quitting that was the like logical methodical reasons why um, this video is mainly just a goodbye when I started my channel in 2006, I never in a million years did I think I would have a house, my dream car, hundreds of thousands, millions of fans. I, I never thought I'd go across the street, go, go to a store and get recognized by people. I, I truly had no idea where this would go and I'm indebted to YouTube. Thank you so much, seriously. And thank you to you guys. So really YouTube was just a platform that gave me the opportunity and then you guys we really found each other and helped seal the deal. I understand that YouTube, Facebook, Storyfire, whatever, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just, a, it's just something that facilitates a connection between you guys and it's given me a framework and a purpose and something to keep me pushing. But me creating content, I was creating content before YouTube was even around. I was just storing them on tapes and keeping them on my computer or even before that, I was just filming stuff to have on tapes, mini DV tapes, I have a VHS camcorder. This is something I've been doing forever. It's so crazy to see how I've changed over the years and how we've evolved and to go from innocent Halo videos to fully fledged series involving so many different cast members to see how much those subscriber milestones matter, hitting 100K or when I was on the hill doing a 250,000 subscriber motivational speech, that was everything to me. It's just got toxic. It's sad. Uh, it's like a bad relationship. I, I, it's like you loved someone or something so much and after kind of getting burned a bunch of times, getting hit, I no longer feel the same way about it. But I'll always look back at so many good times and connections and, and fans and friendships that were made throughout all these years in the productions. When I go on Twitter or Instagram and I see all these juggy communities or I even see the Storyfire community that has basically been built off of the YouTube channel. It's incredible to see so many friendships made through the content that we produce and the platform. I'm sounding, I'm like, I'm so, I'm so worried that I, I, I'm just so, I just want to cover as much 
it's scary for me to think that this is the, the last video. 13 years, I grew up on this platform. I poured everything I have ever had into this. I've put my life on the line for videos. I, I was saying during the second series that I, as long as I could tell this story and impact people, that I could die as soon as it was done. And I felt that same with MVE and I feel the same way now that if story fire doesn't succeed, I will die by the fire. I will ensure this works, but I always suck at saying goodbye. And we built a family here. It's so hard to walk away from this. I'm replaying this day so many times in my head leading up to it. I wasn't sure what I was gonna say, what was gonna come out of my mouth, and I just really hoped it was something special. You know, similar to Psycho Kid when he's on the, on the bed in Switzerland. When the last time that character spoke to you guys, I, I was like, I hope I can do this justice. I hope I'm doing it justice now. It's bittersweet. I, I, I both don't want to overstate or underplay what's happening right now. I know it's probably hard to see. It, I know people struggle with showing emotion in general, let alone in front of a camera. I, I've generally been pretty good at that. I'm trying to still be good at that. Um, as you open yourself up to criticisms, to people not accepting you, and uh, I know a lot of people aren't going to accept my move to Storyfire. They may not understand it, and that's fine. I'm, I'm used to that. I encourage all you guys that are saying goodbye to me and saying they'll miss me, I'll be on Storyfire. I'll be more active than ever on Storyfire. I hope you'll join us. A few hundred thousand people, and what a great community. I see fans earning money through Blaze. Already cash out's gonna be coming the next month or so. That blaze matters. I see users generating series and getting applications accepted and I love what we're building over at Storyfire. That gets me excited. What hurts me the most is just to know that whether it's Psycho Series or MVE, you could not make that on YouTube today and make a living off of it. None of, what I loved about YouTube was that I could create freely and then eventually I could make that my full-time job. I could be like a producer or an actor with all the people that I love around the, the place that I love. To know that that's gone, or seemingly even harder to attain, motivates me more than anything. I know there's a lot of you out there that are hungry and are fired up and want this very badly. And just, just know that I will match your fire. You might not know how to get there, but I will match your fire and I will make a place That'll get you there. So you don't have to be scared. You don't have to be worried about like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's next in my life. I don't know how to get the things that I want, but I know I want them really badly. I want to build a place where you don't have to worry about that. All you have to worry about is the thing that you love. And I love Storyfire a lot. And I will build this thing and I will grow it. And I'll do anything and everything I have to, to give you guys that home. That is my guarantee to you. When I make a decision, I own it and I commit and I'm willing to do the hard things and let go of things that have been in my life forever. Thank you guys. Seriously. I don't know what I would have done if it weren't for you. You have given me this home. You've brought me closer to everybody in my life. You bought merchandise. You've given my parents purpose, my brother. You've given so many cameramen a job. Uh, you've given Brian and me something to believe in and strive for with Storyfire. And thank you, YouTube, for making all that possible. Now, thank you to everybody that's watching and, and have watched us. And, and thanks to YouTube. We appreciate everything and everybody's, you know, inspiration. We, well... And so many people, you've touched so many people's lives. Yep. So many people have showed up to the house over the years, and so many people we've seen out on the street. And, right. And just. And it actually made us feel like we were making a difference. Yep. Before Sorry, I have up. a hard time talking when I get emotional. Just think all the time we spent together, though. That's, yeah. That's a family. A lot of great, great memories. Mm hmm. Well, that's why it's very hard and hard to believe that he's not going to do it anymore. You know, doing something that, uh, you know, Jesse loved to help him along through his career. 
Yeah, and even though we had bumps. A lot of bumps. Yeah. But. It's been worth it though. Yeah, it has. Definitely. Like, I don't understand the logic of it. Of you wanting to drop YouTube and quit and, you know, yeah. be done. You know, I, I, you got a house now, you got a life, you got a career, you got everything, you know, going for you. It's just like, you know, quitting the job that you had for forever. And, and, and how are you going to pay the bills? And I'm just, you know, from a parent standpoint, is it really yeah, is okay. a good idea? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about it. I love YouTube. You know, that's, you know, that's been everything, but it's just not. I know, and the fans are so super nice. Yeah, that's what I want to keep it so about. super nice. Yeah, I, I love all of them. All of them that talk to me on Twitter and. But you've had so much support and, and support from YouTube. I mean. Yeah, but not. Paid, paid for a lot of stuff in your life, in our lives already. And support from all the people who watch us. Right. I trust Jesse that he knows what he's doing. Right. Then I'll back you or your mother and I will back I you whenever you decide. I just we'll think it. it out. That's all. Make sure this is right. But either way, we support everything you do. And you, you could be as loyal as, as anybody. You could be right. really, really loyal. But, but the things that are changing that you can't do, you have to just go with the change. Right. And that's the problem. Where the, there's a lot of people watching this that are not as loyal as I had hoped and won't ever see us again because they won't download the platform for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want this to be for, is kind of to pay respect to the all the years on YouTube, the opportunities, and the fans that will never see us again. But I, I think we've always considered the fans to be very loyal, and we hope you're, you continue to be loyal, and we'll watch everything on uh, Storyfire. Yeah, we've never expected anything like this to happen to us. And, uh, it's a great opportunity. You go to a place and get recognized, I mean, you know, yep. blows your mind. But either way, thank you for all the support you've had, you've given us over the years of, to Jesse, and uh, and the way we've been treated in the public, we we appreciate it greatly. Yeah, everybody's been very respectful, and, and thank you so it's, much. It's an end to a, I mean, I don't know, it's not an end, but it is an end, isn't it? It is. Yeah. As he mentioned behind closed doors, that he doesn't fully support. Because now I'm confused, because he wants to do YouTube now, which is the complete. He gotta make up his mind whether he enjoys it or doesn't. I don't know. And now he's saying he thinks I should keep it. What? Because it's safe? Yes. No, not because it's... Well, yeah, maybe. Because you have been doing it for so long. And you've got a house. That... It's something that's... You know, and, and your dad's just like me with the loyalty stuff, you know. Yeah, I'm saying goodbye. It's just... There's no easy way to do it. I don't do goodbyes. Can't you just say farewell? Well, that sounds even more dramatic. Right. You feel like you're done? Yeah. You I got can, nothing left in the tank? I can move on to retirement now. Jesus. No, I'm not done. What about you? Are you done? I, don't, I hope we're never done. No. I really want to say thank you to everybody who buys merch from, from the Etsy store, from Bridget Studios' website. When we first started this, I had no clue how much I was going to love doing it. We didn't know what we were doing, and Jackie didn't know. We were just learning everything, and, and we I love it. I absolutely love it. And um, I just I just want to thank everybody because it just gave me more purpose, and um, I enjoy just going on it every single day. And uh, whether it's Storyfire merchandise or something from What Ails You or... Um, a, a mug, anything, and you know, I, 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 we all know how to make them. We all know how we've learned how to put transfers on shirts and and Jackie embroiders all the hats, and you know, it's a big part of us. And uh, I just want to say thank you. Thanks for the life. Thanks for the ride. Thanks we appreciate everybody us. and all the fans. We really do. Yeah. It's hard to believe. I mean. Seems like we, I, myself, I just got involved in it. No, it's, I mean, I've been involved with it for 10 years and it's been wacky, wild. Wow, it's it's sad. I mean, to think that, there, that you guys aren't gonna see all this grind that you put out on YouTube, all this sweat that you've, you've poured out and put into YouTube for that channel 
and uh, and now that's it. It's just it's hard to even fathom. I mean, I know that, that you're going to Story Fire, and and I wish you the best with it and everything. But I just uh, you know it's just hard to hard to fathom not engaging with these guys out here, all these juggies, you know. It's kind of like leaving home almost. You started out on YouTube, and that's where you built everything. And yeah, it's done now. And for us not to be a part of the channel as and when YouTube is is kind of it's surreal. The guy that even introduced YouTube to me is going off of YouTube. It's just mind-boggling to me. It really is. And I imagine it's got to be to all the fans out there. The subscription box is never going to have a free target that gets uploaded again. Yeah. What do you think about this call? You think it's right? Um, I... For me, it's like, I guess you follow your heart and I wish you all the luck in the world and everything. I guess time will tell if it's right or not, you know? I mean, I wish you all the best on Story Fire. I mean, I hope that it takes off, blows up. I mean, maybe you can get Tom a job and he can work on Story Fire. Why not? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later. It was fun times. Thank you with the happy approach. Fun times. Looking back at all that, seeing how much everybody has aged throughout the years with the channel, and also seeing the fans, how much they have likely aged since... Wow. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't think that you were actually going to go through with this. <laughs> uh, what, that this is the last? Yeah, I, I, I legit did not think this. Yep, so this, this um, is the last video uh, you'll ever be in on, on this channel. Like this is this is your career, and that's why that's why I'm like so shocked by this. Like I didn't think you'd do because this has been 13 years of your life. This was like your everything. It's a bad relationship. Yeah. It's all of a sudden turns at a certain point becomes yeah. toxic. I've, I've actually been uh, working again. Um, a traditional nine to five. Yeah, everything was going fine on YouTube. Like, but then I know thing was around August. Everything got cut into a third, and it kind of forced my hand of, okay, I, I need to get a traditional job again because the, the well is dry, so to speak. I feel like if you watch somebody consistently and you enjoy that person's content, then it doesn't matter what platform it's on. Like, it shouldn't stop you from, like, following them because you, what it comes down to, do you enjoy them? Yes? Then keep watching them. Keep consuming whatever they're putting out. Whatever. But if you don't, then what are you doing anyway? You're just watching for no apparent reason? Just, I don't know. I, I always like the moments after everything's done. Uh, like, kind of the reflective moments. Like, I, like, like, like for example, when we, MVE had ended, we were on Hawaii, and we are just talking about everything. Uh, I, I like those moments because it was us being real about things that we... We're participating in together. Uh, sorry, Jeffrey's interview got cut short. Uh, battery freaking died, and I did not have another one. So yeah, you want this to be this like like big old event here, and you don't even bring a backup battery. I was I figured you guys wouldn't run that long. I didn't have that much to say. We got super unprofessional. It was 13 it years. All right, it wouldn't be a final video if Jeffrey didn't have some smart crap to say. You got all right. I just would just say what you gotta say. Thank thank you to them, guys. Thank you for watching us over the years on YouTube. It's kind of all I really got. See ya. All right, there he goes, guys. That's that's it for Jeffrey. It's like the filmographer wave. All right, uh, guys, I'm gonna sit down. Do the last goodbye to you, for me, to you. Gotta go vlog stop for the last video at some point, right? <laughs> To all the friendships I've made over the years, whether it's through fans, people I've filmed with, or even other YouTubers. I'll always love what we did. I always love this journey. I'm sure when I'm much, much older, I look back on these times and just miss all the times, all the good times we've had, all the characters in the series, and just know I'm not, I'm not done. I can't be done. There's so much left to do. And we're gonna be doing that on the fire. And it will be the fire itself. That was a dream of mine actually, was to not only be building my content for YouTube, but I would have loved to have helped build YouTube as well. 
unfortunately, they didn't open that up to us. But I felt what a great thing for the creators to build the platform. And that's what we need with StoryFire. I will reach out to every creator and I will make them understand that we all need to come together, every single one of us. We can build something better and greater. I know we can. We know it better than anybody. We've put in the time, we put in the effort. We're creators. The creators are the ones that need to build the creator platform. I decided I was going to rock my Chuggy for Life hoodie uh, for this last video because it's really about you guys. That's that's kind of how it feels. It's not only a it's a big transition for me and something that I've been doing for 13 years and I I, I don't know if you, maybe you guys know but I do I love this thing so much. <laughs> uh, it's crazy how much I've loved fucking YouTube. It's not even a thing. It's not even like a person. It's not even a person. It's just like a it reminds me of like how I'm like I'm like talking to fucking stuffed animals and shit. It's not even a real thing. I'm like yeah. talking to Wilson the volleyball. Or Demma. <laughs> oh, Demma. People think I'm fucking crazy, guys. Like, why does this kid love this shit so much? Like, what is it? It's like machines. It's robots. Because <laughs> I love you guys. But before that, I just loved the, the process of making something. And I guess I associated that with YouTube. But really, YouTube, it doesn't, YouTube schmootube, it doesn't matter what it is. It was just a, it's, it's a platform, it's an application, it's a pro, it's, 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 it's I love making stuff and I love making an impact on you guys and helping you guys and telling stories and getting to play, getting to play around and it was never really about YouTube. That's what I realized. You could call it a hundred different things. They made the playground, but I just like playing and I like the people that I play with. And I can do that anywhere. And you best believe we're gonna do it on Storyfire, guys. I encourage you all to download the platform or at least stay tuned on Storyfire.com. That is my resting place. I will be buried there. You will find me on the fire. It is gonna continue to grow. If you're not on it now, you will be when everybody else is. Cause it's not going anywhere. In two years, when we have 30 million users, you'll end up there because a lot of your favorite creators will be on it and new people that you didn't even know you were interested in will be on there. For those hanging on and, and still not downloading the platform or seeing all the content we have to offer or the great community that we have, I'll miss you. I hope you do check in from time to time on the app or on the site. Um, but I really do encourage you to be a part of it with us. Let's build this together. I've always cared about you guys so much. Every single one of you. For the cynics out there, you might be like, BS, I don't believe it. You know? But I do. Says. If you ever reached out to me via email or tweeted to me or posted something, I, I, I care more than you, you know. I want to see you on the fire. Because this is bigger than, than me. It's bigger than... All of you guys, this is about creating somewhere where younger generations have hope, where there's another platform to create. It's not monopolized by one platform called YouTube. There needs to be options and we can help build that together. I want to see you guys on there. I'll be throwing out thousands of blades uh, over the next week or so. I'd appreciate it after all these years that you follow me over there. Uh, I didn't have anything written for this. I, I wanted, maybe I should have, I don't know. On behalf of me, my entire family, and anybody that's ever been a part of Rigid Studios or Storyfire or has loved seeing the content we produce, thank you. You've given us so much, and YouTube, you've given us so much. It's the end of an era, and uh, to my childhood self, you did it, man. Yes, you did. You conquered your dream. Becoming a big YouTuber, helping a lot of people through your series and stories. You did it. Yes, you did. Good job. Good job, Jesse. But now you need to help out all the new kids so that they can fulfill the dream that you got to fulfill. And that's what this is about. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs>
my mind's racing a mile a minute. I'm like, did you say everything? There's never, you can never say everything that you want to. Yeah. There's so much. When you feel so strongly, it gets to the point where you can no longer just use words. It's just not enough time or my, my capacity is only, it's, I can't speak. <laughs> it's like when somebody passes away or you lose somebody and you can't get them back. There's just so much you want to say. Or if only I did this or it'll never be enough. And I'm sure years from now I'll be like, oh, I wish I, I, I wish they knew how much they meant to me. I really hope I articulated that. <laughs> I'm going to close this off for the last time forever. Alright, Jays. I love y'all to death. And don't forget to keep it rigid. Yes. And stay lit. I'll see you on the fire. Oh, Jesse. You changed a lot of us. You have. I really hope I do. You will. Check it for life. <sighs> it's the hardest thing, but it's the right thing, guys. Let's build this fire together. You will. Let's do it for Psycho Kid. Let's do it for Isaac. Let's do it for everybody. It's more important than anything. Let's do this thing, y'all. Stay lit. Wow. Wow, guys, that was an emotional video. Man. Huh. Crazy. You know, over the years, we've seen that we, he went, yeah, went from Halo all the way up to the some of the greatest series we've seen. Psycho series, Christmas series, I mean, Devil Inside, that's my all-time favorite. And I'm sure you guys have seen my um, the actual video of me talking to them if you watch Larry's Lounge. It was great. Couldn't believe it. Oh, by the way, except for one thing. Well, I think it would not be a good reaction video without something to remember somebody by. Because as you guys know, Jesse was the one that changed my life, helped me do YouTube, and for actually, thanks to you guys, some of you guys actually messaged me saying that you should do reaction videos of the whole series, and I actually did. So, I actually wore something underneath that sweatshirt. Keep it rigid. <laughs> well, keep it rigid, guys. Man. Well, you know what? It's not goodbye. It's see you later. Because we are going to see him on Storyfire, but it's not going to be on here anymore. You know, the way that uh, Tom actually said that, I think it really hits home. It's going to be strange because you're not going to see the Midgenite's notification that he's posted a video. No. We're not going to see that anymore. And I have to say, that's really crazy. I mean, I was able to see that a lot of times. But all I could say is that, wow. Like I said before, guys, when I met him at... Uh, when I met him at VidCon, that was like the best moment of my life. I almost gave up. If you guys seen the videos that I've done, it, it was not much. And I, w I always do reactions on Maury's shows, talking about video games, doing streams... The streams was good, but I kept, as long I kept doing, I w I would wanted to do streams for a long time, and I didn't want to do any more videos. I was about to give up when I saw that video, Psycho Psycho Dash Shreds video games. And I saw how he want, he kept fighting for it. It was everything, but you know what? I loved it. It it was everything that I thought it was gonna be, but you know, hey, I love it. Well, what can I say?
Well, I can't say. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reactions. But subscribe to my channel for more gameplay. Drop some likes if you enjoyed this. There won't be any more reactions. I mean, if when Jesse posts something on Storyfire, as you guys know, I will not do that. I'm just going to talk about what I watched and everything. So I'll be doing that. The construction series was great. It's just that um, it was just something building and doing this and that. I, I did talk about that. It was really good. It's just like, you know, you're pulling the wood like this, doing this and that. I mean, that, I would say that would be the most boring thing ever. But overall, I liked it. It was something great. But I came a long way. If you want proof, I'll give you proof. Well, guys, take a look at this. I actually called it breakdowns, but instead I, I referred to it as reaction videos then. This was my very first Psycho Video reaction video that I've done. I've been watching Majorinize, but this was my very first one. This was on November 17th, 2015. And... My brother was able to hook up the internet on the TV. I used my cell phone. As you can tell, uh, here, let me show you. Let me get my pencil. As you can see right here, this was actually a uh, a pot. I had the, a, a long pot. I had I flipped it over. I put it right here. I put something on the side so it will hold it up. And that's what started it all. And how about a little flashback? Hey, YouTubers. This is Keely Day 6, a.k.a. Raymond. Now, I've done all the um, Psycho Dad montages, but I think I'll stop because I just saw this and the other video. I'd like to talk to you about this, but now let you guys know what really what happened in this in this clip is that uh, he trapped him in a cocoon. Take a look. Oh, I told you, this is hurting me. Oh no, it's not. Ah, really, really, could you help me out of this? Wow. I'm like five feet above the ground right now. Jesse, that's about as tall as you are. Oh, he's choking me. Huh? Now, let you guys know, he actually put, uh, he put, he hung a, um, his PlayStation 4, the same way that he did with, uh, Jeffrey's, uh, Batman statue. And now, well, what happened to him, Korn, who's recording, actually pushed him in the pit. And now, uh, Jess is actually strung up. Now, he agreed to let him go on what condition. He has to buy him a new motorcycle. Now, watch what happens after when uh, he was down. I mean, I just saw a graphic for him. Chris Pratt drives it. Well, I saw the lots of rappers. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I'm just going to talk to you about how I'm saying after my motorcycle. This is across the line. Is it hard to believe, guys? This was f this was four years ago. Well, I would say five now because it's 2020. But guys, if you guys seen my videos, I actually called it all breakdown videos as, as I watched it all. Believe it or not, I have. And after that, I called it reaction videos because one of you guys actually messaged me saying, it's a reaction video, call it a reaction video, and I did that. Hard to believe how this whole thing started <laughs> I just did it and some of you guys actually messaged me saying you should actually do a reaction video uh, do some, do it from do it now and I've been doing the one with the with psycho in its name but then I decided to do all of it and what do you have to what, what can I say look where I am now <laughs> well guys thank you guys for watching and don't forget stay positive and it's not goodbye, it's see you later. So, we'll see Jesse on Storyfire. And, phew, great job, Jess. You did a hell of a job.